Hello Internet, I am Sarandalot and I have a tutorial for you today. Recently, uh, Blender 2.72 was released and uh, there was one feature that I was particularly, that I particularly liked and I thought did not receive too much coverage. Maybe because it's like a pretty simple thing, but regardless, I thought I'd make a quick little tutorial on how to use it uh, in a way that I think is quite effective. This feature I'm talking about is the new mouse look actuator. That's the mouse actuator. It has two settings, look and visibility. I'm going to be talking about mouse look for the purposes of creating a first person uh, game view type of situation. Alright, so I'm in the uh, game logic uh, setting right here, and what I've done is I've just set up a quick little scene. I have uh, a ground, a bit of a terrain here, and I have a our player, which is a box, and I've set up simple controls, just W, A, S, D, and uh, space for jump, and right now what happens if I play the game engine, I can uh, go forward, right, left, back, and I can jump, and stuff like that, and it's all good and whatever, but you'll notice that I can't turn, or anything like that, and uh, that's where this is gonna come in. So, I've got, uh, I've got all these actuators set up on the actual player, and what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to add a mouse sensor here, and change it from left button to movement and then I will attach it to an AND controller. Next, oh, oops. Uh, next what I'm going to do is add a mouse actuator onto the, onto the player, change it to look, and then I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna connect it just yet. I'm gonna go over to the camera, and I'm going to add a mouse actuator to the camera as well, and set it to look. Now, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to parent the camera to the player cube. So I'm gonna hit the camera, shift, select the tube, and hit control P, and select object. Now, if I select the uh, tube and the camera, uh, or the camera and the tube, rather, you'll notice that uh, the actuators and all the, the sensors and whatnot from both the camera and the tube show up on the bottom here in the uh, logic window. And you'll see both the mouse actuators here. And uh, what I can actually do is take the one sensor and through the end, uh, logic date that I have here, connect it to both of the mouse actuators. Now this is going to be a little bit of a problem because we don't want uh, we, we don't want um, too many weird motions here. Like we don't want the tube uh, looking quote unquote up and down. So what we're gonna do is, you can see over here it says camera, and we're dealing with the camera actuators and up here it says tube and we're dealing with the tube actuators. So, what we're going to do for the tube actuator, we're going to uh, only use the X axis. So we're going to disable the Y axis. And for the camera, I'm going to disable the X axis and only use the Y axis. Reason being, if we have the X axis selected on both of them, the camera is going to move twice as fast, uh, side, side to side, because it's already parented to the tube in the first place. Now, that is, that is pretty much all we have to do. So I'm going to hit... Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to hit P now, and we can still do the same thing as I did before, but now if I move the mouse left and right, you'll see that the tube is now turning. If I move it up and down, however, nothing is happening. So I'm going to jump, quickly hit zero, and go into my camera, and now if I hit P, I'll just make this full screen, now if I hit P, and I go left and right, the camera moves, and if I go up and down the tam camera, the camera moves the right way, and I can go around, and I have full... Uh, first person controls right here. So there you go. That's how to use the that's how to use the new uh, mouse actuator in Blender 2.72. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, were able to make some sort of use of this. It's been a long time since I think uh, people have wanted this feature in here. Now we finally got it, so I'm quite happy about this. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.